Hey guys, it's Megan here with Megabuck Savings. Today I'm sharing with you guys a meal that's called the Forgotten Pork Chops. Now I'm trying to use what is left over in my fridge and freezer because we are going to be going out of town and my ideal way of thinking is to use everything we have up as much as we can in our fridge and freezer so that if something were to happen while we were out like a power outage or something that we will be using up whatever we can to um, empty out our fridge and freezer and not go let anything go into waste. So here I'm just cutting up some broccoli and have some leftover cut up onion from this week and I'm just going to cut all of that up and I'm sectioning this out because I needed some room on my cutting board um, but I'm gonna just end up throwing it in the pan and um, so anyways, this is just gonna be a really easy meal and you don't even have to add broccoli. It's really just kind of whatever you have in your fridge and freezer and kind of just throw it in the pan. Now, the forgotten pork chops are pretty bland, but what you'll wanna do is spray your pan with some sort of a spray. Now I use avocado oil and um, it's a really simple, easy meal because it's just kind of dump everything in. And so I'm adding the chopped up broccoli that I had on hand and the leftover chopped up onion that I had in my fridge. And then I had a leftover, I had one half of a leftover pork chop steak and then another like two of, um, ones that were left over that my kids didn't eat that they just had cut off and so it equaled another half so it was like basically one pork chop um now it was bone in and um we had grilled these on the grill so they were already seasoned so even better i'm not even going to be seasoning this meal either but i think that if it wasn't seasoned if you had some pork chop on hand um that you would just need to do a basic salt pepper and maybe some garlic powder or onion powder, but I'll leave the recipe in the link below. So if you wanna try this, or if you have some ideas of what you wanna do, if you have stuff like this in your pantry and freezer um, and fridge, then go ahead and do this. But I had a cup of rice and I had some leftover beef broth in my fridge, which was a cup and a half. And then I had this leftover mushroom cream of mushroom soup that I made it's a gluten-free recipe and I'll find that and link that below as well but I had just enough that I needed which was two cups of the cream of mushroom so I added the one cup into a larging large mixing bowl and the beef beef broth and some water to equal two cups in, in this measuring cup because I wanted two cups of liquid with my one cup of rice and I went ahead and added the cream of mushroom in with the rice and the um, liquid and then I just went ahead and mixed it all up and um, you want to really mix it up really well because the rice if you don't get it really saturated in the liquid then you tend to have some um, unequal parts of rice not cooked in your dish so just getting that really mixed up is the crucial part of this recipe but it's so easy so you just add the liquid right on top of the onions pork chops and the broccoli and um, get it all saturated in there before you put it in the oven. Now, again, you don't have to add broccoli. You don't even have to add onion. Um, just the basic recipe for this is some rice, cream of mushroom soup, and some pork chops laid on top and you know bake it and then you're done. But you wanna seal this up really well in foil, 350 for 60 to 75 minutes and voila you're done and so it's not the most appealing casserole dish looking but um, it was really yummy so I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you're new please hit sub that subscribe button 
And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.